What's going on, y'all? This is J Jump to GSC hopping on for some more scary content in honor of Halloween 2K24. I just knocked out an hour of Martha is Dead, and let me tell you, the game is something. <laughs> the game is very twisted. Um, I'm literally only an hour into the game, and I got about 30 minutes into my stream, and I, I like to talk, so I was probably maybe only 20 minutes into the actual game and something very disgusting and disturbing happened. And if you want to check it out, it's on here. It's on Twitch. If it's no longer on Twitch and you do want to see it, it will be on YouTube. Same handle, Two Grown Scaredy Cats. We're going to check out another game now called Remothered. This is a game that... Do you ever get bored and just like flip through the PlayStation Store just to kind of see what's available? And then it's sort of like, sort of like Netflix ADHD to where you're just flipping and flipping and flipping you're not even really like looking for any particular game well that's what i was doing that was a little while ago and this popped up looked interesting enough and i think it was like four bucks so i was like screw it let's give it a shot and i never actually played it so what better time than now it is the season to be creepy and we shall see what happens this is jay we're gonna play some remothered let's go probably dedicate about I don't know maybe 30 minutes to this um, it is getting late I have a newborn in the house and uh, also a toddler so I'm already tired as it is perpetually but I want to stay up late I want I want to play a little bit um, and see what these games are about so is it all true mm -hmm. what have you heard already that illness, it thickened the bones, it accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Spinska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or do they describe who we are? I swear, I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madam Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Hmm, not the game based in Italy. Because I forgot. But Sounds I like my toddler. forgot that I had promised to remember. <laughs> what? Oh. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. This feels like the beginning of a you Lifetime movie, not a horror hard, game. Sometimes unbelievable, my confused memories are to describe that all this began. This better be good. Oh my gosh. Y'all, horror games are just like horror movies. Some of them are really good. A lot of them are really bad. 
Yeah, skip. Let's go. Let's get this going. I'm getting impatient. Looks like it's gonna rain again. Reached the residence of Dr. Felton. <laughs> she looks like a... Um, Oh, what's that? What's that old at? Helen Hunt, right? Is that her name? Hel I'm showing my age right now. She was in that movie Contact. She was in a lot of things, I think. But I think that's, yeah. Anyways, I'll shut up. You're not going to know who that is. Man. Shake that thing, you know? Do I really have to? Okay, R1 is to run. Okay, I was about to say. Why do you run like that? <laughs> is that really how you... Oh my god. If at any point in this game something is chasing me, and this is how I'm running. <laughs> this, this is how I'm running. Oh my gosh. Swing the arms. Oh my goodness. That's so bad. That is so bad. You look like you're dancing. Cut here, cut there. October 31st, 1971. So it's the early 70s. That's so bad. So uh, I recently saw that the PlayStation Extra and Premium, PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium games were announced, and one of them that I'm kind of excited about, I would never spend money on this, but I'm kind of excited that Dead Island 2 is available for a free download now. So I think Silky Joe and I are going to snag that one up and play some co-op sessions. Could be fun. Dead Island 1 was fun, but it's just, you know, if you've played one, you played them all. Okay, can I... Lost Child Celeste Felton. Okay. Whatever. Oh my god, why do you run this way? Oh, mirrors? I definitely feel anxious like looking at mirrors. Especially at night after playing these spooky freaking games. When I finished playing PT, the whole, like, 25 minutes that I lasted, getting back to my room. Right, so, like, getting back to my room, this it's this hallway. Um, and directly in front of that hallway is uh, a bathroom. And if you open the door, directly in front of the door is a mirror. So last, or when I was playing PT and I wrapped it up and I was walking back to my room, I was walking towards that bathroom. And once you get to the bathroom, you take a right and it gets to my room. But I was walking towards that bathroom and the door was open. So it was just like the mirror. That's all I could see. And it was dark. And the the light in my hallway entrance uh, upstairs has like a short in it. So when you turn on, it just flickers. So I'm walking down this damn hallway, scared out of my mind because I've just been playing PT. And... Uh, I'm just staring at this mirror the whole time, so I quickly walk over there, close the door. <laughs> Mind you, I'm like, I'll be 38 years old, so I am way too old to be getting creeped out like that. But I close the door, and I'm like, all right, I'm creeped out. Let me just turn the light on so it's not so dark. I turn the light on, and it's just flickering lights. And I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to get to bed. <laughs> we'll start over tomorrow. Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? <sighs> I 
Ten minutes in. Reese residence of Dr. Felton. Let's go. Let's just shimmy on over there. Bro, you out of breath? Oh my gosh. You need some more cardio. Or maybe if you didn't fucking run that way, you'd conserve some energy. Hello? Is anyone there? How long can you run without passing out? <laughs> I will say, I do like in games, especially horror, <laughs> especially horror games, that they do incorporate like um, first person breathing as a uh, part of the, the soundtrack. Um, I think it was Alien Isolation. Um, they did that really well, I think. I'm not positive. But anyways, basically like I love when you're playing a game that's supposed to be scary and then like something creepy happened and then you can hear the panic and the breathing of the person that you're playing as. It really helps with the immersion. It seems to me, I'm not a developer, but it seems to me like that would be such an easy thing to add. Peekaboo. No, nah, she's not Englishing. She's playing Peekaboo. Miss Reed, you already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Center of the I Institute. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents, I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. Oh, no, please. I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felt's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Why is there an ashtray in the house if you can't smoke inside? All right. Oh, I can't. I can't run. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also... Don't be judging. Your voice sounds like you've been smoking for your whole life. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh, no. From midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. 
what can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out Why are we walking so slow? When I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same songs, over and over. Dude, this is painful. Can we please walk? Thank you. This way, please. And Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, the coronation of a virgin. The young girl gazes into the sky above with stone, uh, with stunned eyes, <laughs> stoned eyes, with stunned eyes, and a light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storm. Okay, well I won't even, won't even be able to read it. Descending the hideous hands of stranger creatures. So, okay, yeah, that is creepy. So that is a really creepy painting. That's it. Can I? What? There we go. Close to the suspect of contamination. Toxic pollen that could cause severe parasitosis. That is a lot to read. I am not going to read all that. God, miss. Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose. Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No, thank you. As you wish. How about you? Take an espresso. No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates? Anoxone? 
Wasn't it recalled in the mid 60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gala. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with... Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, my Mr. daughter... Mr. Felton, what has really happened to you, daughter? I just told How you! How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate... I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to... What it's kind of painful this? to watch. Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question! The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife, then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, this is really bad. That is your real name. Your time here has ended. Please, <clears throat> leave my... But I am intrigued. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Me, me, me. You know the way. How do you even... How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Hmm. Well, that was intriguing. I'm beginning to understand why this game was only like four bucks. Gonna let yourself back in there, huh? Lady, you crazy.
Yes, I would. I'm going to save and stop. Look for the mirrors with the metronome from now on. You can save your game only by using those. Interesting. Look for the mirrors with the metronome from now on. You can only save your game by using those. Okay. So save points. Ooh, a flashlight? Okay. All right. Doing some investigation. Some areas of the Felton Mansion are really dark. It may be difficult to find your bearings. Press the flashlight switch, so R3. But remember to... Uh, yeah, I can't see. Oh, good lightning effects. Where's the flashlight at? Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, we're going to stop right here. Um, but we'll, we'll get into my thoughts on this game. Let me just uh, hang tight right here. Remothered. Tormented fathers. Very mixed feelings so far. I know I'm only really 26 minutes into the game. It's not that it's a bad game, but it's not a good game. Um, I think the storyline is interesting enough to keep me going. I am curious to see what happens. Um, but nothing's happened to where I'm like, I have to find out. This is more curiosity than anything. Graphics are, eh, they're decent. They're not terrible. They're not bad. They're not so bad that it distracts you from the game. I can tell that whoever did develop this game, they did try. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, though, because there are, oof, there's some bad moments. The voice acting is, uh, well, it could use some work. We'll put it that way. But overall, it can't be that bad because I'm going to play it some more. Just not right now. Okay, well, this is J-Drum signing out with 2GSC. Um, lots of stuff coming down the pipeline. We're playing this, or I'm playing, basically we're playing anything that we can that's scary, spooky, horror, whatever, just, you know, in honor of Halloween to, or October 2K24. Um, this is the spooky season, tis the season to be creepy, um, so that's why we're playing these games. Um, outside of that, we're playing, uh, I'm doing Elden Ring, a complete and total uh, playthrough. Um... Silky so Joe's doing Space Marine 2, he's doing Wukong, he's doing Astrobot, um, some Metal Gear content, so quite a bit really coming down the pipeline. And then also on Terror Tuesdays, we're doing Dead Space Remake, and Silky Joe just picked up Silent Hills 2 Remake. I've never played Silent Hills 2, so I'm really excited for this. I was very excited when they first announced Silent Hills 2, or Silent Hill 2 Remake. But then I realized it was Team Bloober, and my excitement plummeted. But apparently they did a good job. Everyone's saying that they crushed it, so he picked it up, and we're going to stream it. Anyways, that's everything coming out of the pipeline. If you like the stream, please hit that follow button. Um, we are trying to grow our channel to at least 50 followers. That's our next milestone, and we are currently sitting at 33, so we need 17 more. So please hit that follow button if you like it. If you don't, that's fine too. We also have a YouTube channel, same handle, Two Grown Scaredy Cats with the number two, not TWO. And any videos, any games that we've played through up to this point that's no longer on Twitch are going to be on there. So, for instance, um, Alien Isolation, which apparently now there, there are uh, uh, sequels in development. I mean, it's in development, right? So, like, who knows when it's actually going to come out? But that's exciting. So, um,. Alien Isolation was very good. That one, I play, that's the one that I streamed. And I loved it. It was extremely tense. And if you never played it, I definitely recommend it. It's 10 years old, and I mean, it's it's every bit of every bit as good as any PS5 game I've played so far. Except graphically. And that's just for obvious reasons. It's a PS4 game versus a PS5 game. Um, but anyways, yeah, videos like that. Tons of videos on YouTube. In fact, I think we have approaching 300 videos on YouTube. So anyways, I'm going to stop yapping. I want to wrap it up. This is JJohn2GSC. Peace out. I'll talk to you all later.